Vengeance? Double Hexite Crystal. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Echo Viego. Going to be our next deck. This one looks pretty exciting. Basically what the thought here is playing Echo with Harrowing. They could bring Echo back. And just kind of having just a lot of ways to kind of bring uh, Echo back and just do some crazy stuff. So we're not only going to have the Harrowing, but then of course when you level up an Echo, it puts in these Chrono Breaks. So kind of having like Chrono Break plus Harrowing to kind of see what that's like. And then if we if we cast Echo's Champion spell, the Called Shot, maybe we find a Parallel Convergence that we get some free attacks. So just kind of combining all those together. Harrowing, Chrono Break, Parallel Convergence all together could be kind of crazy um and then we're gonna have echo or sorry we're gonna have viego for our other champion that's gonna be making a bunch of encroaching mists um and just having all those like encroaching mist with um you know, like encroaching mist with uh chrono break or with parallel convergence like either one <laughs> sounds pretty crazy uh so yeah so just kind of combining those all together and just seeing what happens um so this is going to be a slower deck where we're going to want to try to control the board and just put out some some big threats we're gonna have perfect we're to level up Echo, we don't have very many Predict cards in only uh, Piltover and Zon. We just have the Perfectionist and the Time Trick. So we're going to want Perfectionist, how it creates the three copies. We're going to try to choose Time Trick and then just create more copies of Time Trick and use those together, plus Echo Striking ability and that makes Time Tricks to try to predict five times to be able to level up our Echo for the Chrono Breaks. Um... And yeah, that's going to be kind of about it. We could have like a Viego die or an Echo die, like one of those two die, and then like Rekindler them back and also Chrono Break them back. And <laughs> that could be kind of crazy. Anyway, let's let's go and try it out. Let's see how this does with Echo Viego. Looks pretty, pretty spicy. We'll go play our five games in ranked. We're playing some Lurkers. Man, it's been a while since we played against some Lurkers. Alright, we're going to mulligan the seven mana cards. Keep the one and two. We got a little one, two, three action. I saw the, the Rainbow Ellie like come up here and I was like, I had Rainbow Ellie for my Guardian? I was like, that doesn't really fit. <laughs> I was like, alright, well I guess we have Rainbow Ellie, but then realized that... Never mind, that's there. Rainbow Ellie. Cold attack. All right, so they doubled it up. So we know that's a Rek'Sai. <laughs> Rainbow Ellie. Uh, we'll just do normal blocking. Okay, so they hit again, unfortunately, because if they would have missed there, then I could have got the free kill with the Camivoran Soldier. Viego. Let's go. Mmm, that thing's big. Let's pass the round, save some spell mana. Hit again. They're doing a great job lurking. Doing a good job lurking. Alright, let's just pass. The whole world will know my language. Alright, I'm going to Vile Feast my own 0-1. I know I could Glimpse Beyond, but if I Glimpse Beyond, then I don't have the extra blocker for, for immediate attacks. So I'm going to go with the Vile Feast so I get that extra Spiraling in here. 
Um, but of course, I want things to die each round. Keep getting these encroaching mists. Keep growing at Viego. Rekindler's nice. Rekindler's nice. So if I do let Viego die, we do have, you know, like Rekindler and Harrowing. This could be interesting. That thing's not getting to 10, is it? I mean, I guess if that's a Rek'Sai on top, it gets to 10, and then... And then what? Then I'm dead? Kinda. Aha. Uh -huh. Now Rek'Sai will be on top. So obviously this didn't work out very well for, for me. But it's not the worst. It could be worse than that. But the real question is how do we deal with the 10 power... We each died, then 10 power Rek'Sai. Oh no, and then another big overwhelm there. Okay, this is not looking great. That's gonna have to be our play. that. Okay. Which makes sense that's their only thing. Unfortunately, this is gonna, yeah, this is gonna die with all the others, so we're not gonna actually level up our Viego, is it? Are we, um, we're not going to. Man, Lurker's looking good. Lurker's looking good. Dang. Alright, great job. GG's. Looking good. I wouldn't mind playing that matchup again. The, with the free created lurk, lurkers, uh, they just kept on creating very good quality ones, and yeah, they got us. This is a good hand to keep. I don't, I don't love keeping the time trick, as in like I, I don't think that we necessarily will have time. But with us having the fallen feline, we kind of need to have this. So yeah, we're gonna be looking for that hexite crystal. They go wide. Keep my three mana to be able to kill a Draven. Mm. 
And it'd be nice to play the Camivore and Soldier, but if they go Draven, I gotta kill it. So I wanna have like one for a Draven and the other for a Jinx. Alright, no Draven. I'm gonna play this. Camivore and Soldier. Why am I not attacking with a 3 3? Probably should have attacked with 3 3. Survival skills? For the money makers. Wow. Okay, cool, Jack. Yeah, the auction Tarek that we had at, like, the first day. Yeah, we didn't do very well with it, but yeah, you made some changes and improved it. Glad to hear. Glad to hear. Alright, testing to see if they got another one. Hopefully not. Now, the problem is, is I'm going to want to kill a Jinx immediately. But if they can unload their hand, if they can play Jinx and unload their hand, then we're in a lot of trouble. Cool. For the main event. So that card's not Jinx, so that's good for me. Maybe, okay, so I was going to just Thermogenic Beam this, but actually, I guess I need to save that for Jinx, don't I? Maybe not. Mm, yeah. Basically, I can probably outrace some 1-1s. One like that are elusive but if they play a jinx that's definitely how they can kill me so i'm not playing anything here so that next round i can play this viego for five and also have four mana for a thermogenic beam for a five four jinx cool and then i can play another fallen feline before the time trick to give me two hexite crystals to be predicting looking for Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people you should try blinking sometimes Hope that's not the third Draven that would kill Viego. I guess I guess maybe I just shouldn't even be blocking the Spiderling. It's just a 1-1. One, one, or I'm risking Viego from third Draven. Yeah, I was kinda thinking vision. Well how like they're going wide like this, then maybe that, that was the plan was vision. But then realized that okay, after I blocked it. Alright, so neither. Neither card. Alright, so as long as they don't have another Jinx or Augmented Experimenter, I really like our chances. Echo. Echo, let's go. Alright, planning on playing the Echo and attacking with the Echo, making the time trick, and then casting the fleeting time trick from Echo. I want to get this in first, and also have more information about what they're doing there. Oh, uh, I guess I'm going to have to play this time trick then. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Yep. Sorry, Echo. Hexite Crystal! No Hexite Crystal. Uh, no, we gotta probably time trick again, right? I don't know, if I take Viego's... And then Viego's Champion Spell of Despair, I could kill Jinx, but they could do, like, six damage to me with that. Put me down to nine, but Jinx would be dead. I don't know, I... I could see, I could honestly see that being worth it, because Jinx can just do so much more damage than them. Hard to say. They should just be spinning, axing, discarding, having Zonite Urchin block. That's. Uh, that's a jury rig. I was gonna say, like, if they did have a good card, though, it would force them to discard the good card. So 
So you can see I'm not attacking with this Encroaching Mist because I actually want this to die at the end of the round. And therefore give me a new Encroaching Mist for next round. Give me this extra blocker right here. Joker. Vengeance. Double Hexite Crystal. Well, it's not a vengeance, but I guess that will do. That's why I didn't play the cat first, is because maybe we could hit vengeance. I need the mana for vengeance. But I guess double Hexite Crystal works. Alright, Sivir Zed. Yeah, double Hexite Crystal, that was pretty busted. So what are we doing against Sivir Zed? I don't know about Echo, I don't know. You've been doing Soraka with Renekton? Soraka Croc. Oh, would you look at this place? That sounds pretty cool, Soraka Croc. At first, when you said Soraka Croc, I thought you were talking about like ancient Crocolith with Soraka, and I was like, yeah, ancient Crocolith with Soraka would would work. We'd get a seven seven, and then have it be more difficult to kill. I was like, yeah, that would work. Oh, spell shield. That card's gonna That card's gonna be problematic to deal with. It's a living. Alright, got a Nopify out of their hand. So we got six cards in our hand. They got four, but they also have one of the best champions in the game in play. Let's see. Yeah. Viego, Viego. Do, do, do. Viego. Never had luck, never needed it. Without a sound. <laughs> Nothing blocks. Everything has quick attack and has a lot more power than health. Like, no blockers. Alright, I kinda want this rekindler that's multiple bodies. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. The huge. Can't imagine the two Vile Feasts actually kill a Zed, right? That doesn't seem super likely. You must know me, little one. You must! I'm just going to be passing here. I'm not going to be, like, attempting... Okay. Well, that makes life worse. Zero.
Yeah. Alright, so only two cards left. I'm definitely considering... Man, kind of considering everything. We got a lot of different options here. But maybe... Vile Feast this 3-1 and then Viego. Also kind of want to Vengeance the Zed. Let's let's do this here. I kind of want, I want to Vengeance that Zed. Obviously, there's a lot of cards that can kill me that if they have... Wow. Wow. <laughs> what a ricochet. You just done one damage to all five different things. Yeah. That's, that's a good ricochet right there. Yep. That was going to be something that I was going to say is that a ghost would kill me. Like, a ghost on the sever just killed me anyway, but... Alright, good life upon it. There's some good champions right there. You just got you got your sever Zed and all sorts of spells. It's pretty nice. Yeah, we were, we were pretty dead. You can't win by blocking <laughs> against, you know, like... Big power, quick attack, you can't win by blocking, and then against spell shields, you can't win by spells, so you kind of can't beat Sivir. Unless you can just, like, outrace Sivir. Alright, Lurkers. Let's send these back. Alright, the Perfectionist will be a predict card be able to look for the Hexite Crystal. This is definitely a very good Hexite Crystal matchup. Last matchup was good with Hexite Crystal too, but I didn't have it, of course. We can always rely on you good card, a 2-3. Three. three health, can't kill it. Good card there for the Lurk deck. I'm gonna skip. I mean, we could choose Rekindler, but I don't want just like a whole bunch more Rekindlers in the deck. Alright, we got our Echo Harrowing deck. You would assume that they have Pike's Champion spell. Yeah, Bone Skewer. And so I guess allowing them to do that is probably a huge mistake by me, because now they have Death from Below. Yeah, so I guess that was just a huge mistake by me, wasn't it? So they've lurked twice, so Death From Below is doing 4 damage. Gross. She waits for me beyond the mist, my queen. Yeah, that was that was a good play by them and a bad play by me. Oh, 
things aren't gonna improve themselves. Alright, nothing in this game went <laughs> went well for me. Echo just, or sorry, harrowing just isn't permanent, right? So like if I try to rely on harrowing, it's just not permanent. Hexite crystals. No, Hexite crystals, where you at? Hexite crystals. Yeah. I don't know. I could see taking the soldier, but I guess we'll just take this. This has to attack for eight or more. I'm basically like just now not allowing them to have all of that mana. Yeah, like I only wasted, quote-unquote, one mana. To us. And rekindle anew. Okay, so assuming they put Pike back on top. It's a fair assumption. Come from the dark. They won't be able to save Pike with just a one health thing, like if they are playing Shapestone for some random reason, wanted to make sure to kill that. Plus, I also just didn't really want the Spider in play if I'm just going to Harrowing next round. Don't want the Spider in play. Because Harrowing next round... Wow, kill Echo, not... Not Viego. Herring next round will level up this Viego fairly easily. So, like, if they have a Bone Skewer, we kind of lose, right? I guess we don't really lose, lose, because we got to back up Harrowing, and then we can also Hexite Crystal, Mystic Shot, Vile Feast, these things. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Another death from below, just the third death from below. Do I just pass? Or am I supposed to attack with this thing? Whenever I kill an enemy, I strike the weakest. I think I just pass. Just pass. Alright, two Viego round start. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Viego's outclassing Pike. Wow. This is ridiculous. All right, so who's doing damage to what? You, your thing goes over here that does damage to the 5-5. Five five. All right, I don't care. Pike? Yeah, so it's the Pike that I want to kill. Anyway, we'll just kill the Pike and just figure it out later. That should be just fine. GG's.
There we go. Harrowing Viego. That was all set up thanks to the different time tricks that we got with Echo. Aurelia Azir, can we stabilize? This would be a great time to have Hexite Crystal. Hey. How about that? Well, this looks like a good Hexite Crystal hand. We're gonna find Hexite Crystal. We're a mostly all Shadow Isles deck. 23 Shadow Isles, 17 Piltover and Zon. 5 for 5 Piltover and Zon so far. Oh. Just out of Rekindler. Rekindler anew. So I want to play this to give me a, a three power thing to block here. Okay, so they're going to make that four. Alright. Take four. I'm expecting if I go, you know, Mystic Shot on the Sparring Student, I'm expecting them to have the recall cards, right? Like they've saved like this two spell mana over here. Fall, Certainly expecting that. Yeah. They're gonna have recall. Okay, so I'm gonna go time trick. Yeah. Yeah, because the time trick actually draws a card. No, I want the Hexite Crystal. Battle Feast isn't bad. As far as cards go, Battle Feast isn't bad. Was the protection spell? All right, gonna try to take out the sparring students and then be able to play Viego. Boo! Uh, gives me a blocker. That seven. Unlikely that it really is leveling up this round. I don't want to say it's definitely not, but I'm saying it's unlikely. All right, we're down to eleven. Man, I both want to open attack and also play Echo first. Now we gotta just open attack. This is 11. I was gonna say they kinda have to do something. No Hexite Crystal still. Alright, good. Finally killed Aurelia. Good, because that leveled up Aurelia. Problematic. So 
So doing that, of course, to get an encroaching miss. Another fallen feline. When rhythm takes place, there's no time for fear. This Hexite Crystal's got to be somewhere around here, right? And it's going to be close. So that shapestone there allows them to keep the Blossoming Blade alive so they have a blocker for my fearsome Viego. Otherwise they would not have had a blocker right there. Hexite Crystal? No Hexite Crystal. This is going to be close. They're going to have to draw something pretty well. Like, we're, we we definitely have this covered right now. Wow. Went for the went for the 4-1. All right, that's going to be a winning record. 3 and 2. Let's keep these winning records coming. Echo Viego. All right, so we'll take that winning record there with Echo Viego. The deck really did feel good. Like, it felt good of having, yeah, obviously, like, the Viego part, like, with all the Shadow Isles and, like, the different blockers, Vile Feast, Fading Icon, Soldier, um, all that was was very good Then your top end. Uh, but then pairing that with um, Piltoverns on for some early game, you know, like, you have that um, ability to get the Hexite Crystals, which are super busted. You have the Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam, two good removal spells. And then also just time trick and perfectionist getting the predict, getting uh, allowing you to find what you need, All right? You know, do you need a Viego? Do you need you know like your vile feast or are you looking for hexite crystal? You know, like that kind of stuff. So it felt pretty good. I think that these worked well together. Uh, the one of our losses to the lurkers. I think that was here. Yeah, what, yeah. One of our lo losses to the lurkers was just a pretty crazy good lurker hand. Uh, even though I, I didn't think that was necessarily too bad of a matchup, we did. Uh, we did defeat the Lurkers later on afterwards, even with three Death From Belows. Um, so yeah, so I, I think that this deck felt very, very powerful. And, you know, kind of putting Viego wherever you want. Like, Viego's going to be a very powerful champion, and so you're going to probably have a pretty good deck. But I think that this was a nice um, pairing with Viego, having Fallen Feline, Mystic Shot, Time Trick, Perfectionist, Echo, like those cards... Thermo, you know, like those aren't very many Piltover and Zong cards, but I think that that kind of fills the holes of what you have in the Shadow Isles region fairly well. So I think that that worked out pretty good. All right. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. And if you try it out yourself, let me know how it goes for you. You know, if you're looking for a new Echo deck, maybe. Uh, give this one a try and let me know how it goes for you. We didn't get to do, like, it's difficult to level up Echo. You really need to have your Perfectionist hit a time trick. Um, but, like, a couple of those last games, like, we were real close to leveling up Echo, like, having, like, four out of five. Didn't quite get the five out of five. But if you, so we didn't get to do the cool Chrono Break stuff. But, man, I imagine Chrono Break in this deck with all the encroaching miss and Viego and stuff could be pretty crazy. Um, but we didn't quite get to do that. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Echo Viego. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.